this class we discuss about the application of kirchhoff's voltage law in terms of loop or mesh analysis we will work out five problems problem number 1 six resistors and one voltage source are connected as shown in figure there are six resistors 10 ohm 20 ohm 30 ohm 40 ohm 50 ohm and source source resistance is 10 ohm source voltage is 40 There are three loops: loop one, loop two, loop three. The loop currents are I one, I two, I three. The loop current direction is clockwise. First, I have to form a Maxwell's mesh matrix. In the matrix, first I have to find the diagonal elements. The first loop resistance is for forty plus ten plus thirty. That is equal to eighty. Second loop resistance is forty plus ten plus fifty. That is equal to hundred. Third loop resistance is 30 plus 20 plus 50. That is 100. Next, I have to find which resistor is common to 1 and 2. That is 40. Direction minus minus 40 minus 40. And which resistor is common to 1 and 3? 30 ohms. So that is minus 30 minus 30. Which resistor is common to 2 and 3? Minus 50 minus 50. I1 I2 I3. That is equal to V1 40. V2 is equal to zero. V3 is equal to zero. Once I form a matrix, I can easily form the equation. I can find I1, I2, I3. I1 is equal to 1.30 amps. I2 is equal to 0.96 amps. I3 is equal to 0.87 amps. Now I redraw the diagram. The I1 is equal to 1.0. I2 is equal to 0.96. I3 is equal to 0.87. So I know the current towards the point A is equal to 1.3. Current leaving the junction is 0.96. Therefore, 1.3 minus 0.96 that is equal to 0.34. Here the current towards the junction is 0.96. Current leaving the junction is 0.87. 0.96 minus 0.87 that is equal to 0.09 amps. So the current flow through the 50 ohm resistor is 0.09 amps. That is the first. Next, I have to find What is the voltage across A and C? For that, I have to find what is the voltage across this point. Source voltage is 40. So 40 minus this current is 1.3. Source resistance is 10. So the source voltage minus drop. That is source resistance voltage drop. That is 10 into 1.3. That is equal to 40 minus 13. That is equal to 27 volt. Voltage across A C is equal to 27. The current is 1.3. I can find resistance between A and C is equal to 27 divided by 1.3. That is equal to 20.77 ohms. Voltage across AC is equal to 27 volts. Resistance between A and C is equal to 20.77 ohms. Current flow through the resistor is 0.09 amps. Here, current towards this point C is equal to 0.87 and uh, point, 0.87 plus 0.43. That is equal to 1.3. Current towards the junction is 1.3. Current leaving the junction is 1.3. Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem two: Find power delivered by the batteries. In the circuit, two batteries, four resistors. This is 100 volt. This is 160 volt. Four resistors: 11 ohm, 4 ohm, 4 ohm, 20 ohm. How many loops? Three loops. This is loop one. This is loop two. This is loop three. The direction is positive to negative. Similarly, this is positive to negative. This is positive to negative. This is I1. This is I2. This is I3. This is in clockwise direction. Now I have to form a Maxwell mesh matrix. First step is I have to find the diagonal elements. First diagonal element is first loop resistance 11 plus 4 that is equal to 15. Second loop resistance 11 plus 4 that is equal to 15. Third loop resistance 4 plus 4 plus 20 that is equal to 28. Next step is which resistor is common to loop one and loop two? Eleven. The direction is same. Therefore, plus eleven plus eleven. Which resistor is common to one and three? Four. Minus four minus four. The direction is opposite. Therefore, minus four minus four. Which resistor is common to two and three? Four. The same direction is same. Therefore, plus four plus four. I one, I two, I three. That is equal to V one. That is equal to hundred. V two is equal to one sixty. V three is equal to zero. I can find I one, I two, I three. I1 is equal to minus 5.5 amps. I2 is equal to 15.5 amps. I3 is equal to minus 3 amps. Now we verify Kirchhoff's current law. 
Here the current through the 20 ohm resistor is 3 amps. Current supplied by the battery is 15.5. This is current flow through the 4 ohm resistor is 15.5 minus 3 that is equal to 12.5. Current flow through the 11 ohm resistor is 12.5 minus 2.5 that is equal to 10 amps. So current towards the battery is 5.5 that is 2.5 plus 3 that is equal to 5.5. This is 5.5. This is 15.5, 10 plus 5.5, that is equal to 15.5. Credit charge current line is verified. Next, I have to find power supplied by the batteries. 100 volt battery, the current is minus 5.5. Minus 5.5 into 100, that is equal to minus 550 watts. Minus I indicates it consumes power. That means this battery acts as a load. Battery 2. 15.5 into 160 that is equal to 2480 watts plus sign indicates it is delivering power problem number three three voltage sources 10 volt 5 volt 2 volt and six resistors are connected as shown in figure this is 1 ohm 2 ohm 3 ohm 4 ohm 5 ohm and 6 ohm the question is find the current flow through the 5 ohm resistor that is the question First step is we have to find the loop currents. This is loop 1, this is loop 2, this is loop 3. The direction of loop current is clockwise. This is clockwise, this is clockwise, this is clockwise. First we have to find the mesh resistance matrix. We have to find the diagonal elements. The first loop resistance is 6 plus 3 plus 5 that is equal to 14. Second loop resistance is 5 plus 4 plus 1 that is equal to 10. Third loop resistance is 3 plus 4 plus 2 that is equal to 9. Which resistor is common to 1 and 2? 5. The direction is minus. Minus 5, minus 5. Which resistor is common to 1 and 3? 3. Minus 3, minus 3. Which resistor is common to 2 and 3? 4. Minus 4, minus 4. I1, I2, I3 that is equal to 10 minus 2 that is plus this is plus minus this is plus minus 10 minus 2 that is equal to 8 volt that is v1 v2 is equal to 5 this is plus minus this is minus plus 5 plus 2 that is equal to 7 volt there is no voltage source in the loop 3 that is, that is equal to 0 i can find i1 i2 i3 i1 is equal to 1.65 amps i2 is equal to 2.12 amps i3 is equal to 1.49 amps uh, once again i redraw the diagram now, the loop current one is 1.65, the second loop current is 2.12, third loop is 1.49. I know the loop current, I can easily find what is the current flow through the 5 ohm resistor. So this is 1.65, this is 1.49, current towards the junction is 1.65, leaves the junction is 1.49, 1.65 minus 1.49 that is equal to 0.16, current flow through the 3 ohm resistor is 0.16. Again, this is 0.16. So this current is 2.12. Therefore, I can use this is 1.49, 2.12 plus 1.49. That is 0.63. 2.12 minus 1.49. That is equal to 0.63. 1.49 plus 0.63. That is equal to 2.12. So that is the loop second loop current. This third loop current is 1.49. Therefore, the current towards is 0.16, current leaving, is, leaving in the junction is 0 0.63, 0 0.16 minus 0.63 that is equal to 0 0.47. So, this is 0 0.16 plus 0 0.47 that is equal to 0 0.63. Current flow through the 5 ohm resistor is 0 0.47. Again, you can check 2.12, this is here the current is 2.12, minus 0.47 that is equal to 1.65. Here the current charge current line is verified. Current flow through the 5 ohm resistor is 0 0.47 amps. Problem number 4. 5 resistors and 1 voltage source are connected as shown in figure. The resistance across AB is equal to 0.5 ohms. Resistance across BC is equal to 3 ohms. Resistance across CD is equal to 0.5 ohms. Resistance across BB is equal to 2.5 ohms. Resistance across AC is equal to 2.5 ohms. Now I redraw the diagram like this. There are three loops, loop 1, loop 2, loop 3. The loop current direction is clockwise. This is I1, this is I2, this is I3. Second step is I have to form the mesh resistance matrix. First I have to find the diagonal elements. 
First loop resistance is 2.5 plus 0.5 that is equal to 3. Second loop resistance is 2.5 plus 0.5 plus 3 that is equal to 6. Third loop resistance is 0.5 plus 2.5 plus 3 that is equal to 6. With the resistance is common to 1 and 2, 2.5. The sign is minus, minus 2.5, minus 2.5. With the resistor is common to 1 and 3, 0.5, minus 0.5, minus 0.5. With the resistor is common to 2 and 3, 3 ohm resistor, minus 3, minus 3. I1, I2, I3, that is equal to, V1 is equal to 4, V2 is equal to 0, V3 is equal to 0. Now I solve the equation, I1 is equal to 3.13 amps, I2 is equal to 1.91 amps, I3 is equal to 1.22 amps. Again I read the diagram. Current through A B is equal to 1.91, B C is equal to 0.69, and B D is equal to 1.22. 1.22 plus 0.6 is equal to 1.91. And here this is 0.69, this is 1.22. 0.69 plus 1.22 that is equal to 1.91. Current flow through the 0.5 ohm resistor is 1.91. Here this is current flow through the B D is equal to 1.22. 1.22 plus 1.91 that is equal to 3.13. Here the creature's current law is verified. Current flow through the each resistor is also we found it. Problem number 5. 5 voltage sources and 5 resistors are connected as shown in figure. Here 5 voltage sources 200 volts, 50 volts, 50 volts, 50 volts, 300 volts. 5 resistors 50 ohm, 30 ohm, 40 ohm, 20 ohm and 80 ohm. First we have to find the loop currents. Then only we can find current flow through the 30 ohm resistor and 20 ohm resistor. That is the question. What is the current flow through the 30 ohm resistor and 20 ohm resistor? First we have to form a mesh resistance matrix. In the matrix, first step is we have to find the diagonal elements. In the first loop, the resistance is 50 plus 30, that is equal to 80. In the second loop, 30 plus 40 plus 20, that is equal to 90. The third loop, 80 plus 20, that is equal to 100. Which resistance is common to loop 1 and loop 2? 30. Direction, minus 30, minus 30. There is no resistor common to 1 and 3. 0, 0. Which resistor is common to 2 and 3? That is 20. Direction minus, minus 20, minus 20. I1, I2, I3. That is equal to 200 minus 50. That is equal to 150. 50 plus 50 plus 50. That is equal to 150. This is plus minus. This is minus plus. This is minus plus. 150. This is 300 plus 50. That is equal to 350. So, mesh resistance matrix is over. I can form an equation. I can find I1, I2, I3. I1 is equal to 3.26 amps. I2 is equal to 3.70 amps. I3 is equal to 4.24 amps. Now again, I draw this diagram, circuit diagram. If I loop current, I1 is equal to 3.26. I2 is equal to 3.70. I3 is equal to 4.24. Therefore, current flow through the 30 ohm resistor is 3.7 minus 3.26 that is equal to 0.44 amps. Current flow through the 30 ohm resistor is 0.44 amps. Then current flow through the 20 ohm resistor is here the current is 4.I3 is equal to 4.24 minus 3.7 that is equal to 0.54. So this is 4.24. Current flow through the 20 ohm resistor is 0.54. Current flow through the 40 ohm resistor is 3.70. Current flow through the 50 ohm resistor is 3.26. Here this is for 4.24. The current limit is 0.54. 4.24 minus 0.54 that is equal to 3.7. Current towards the junction is 3.7. Current leaving the junction is 0.44. 3.7 minus 0.44 that is equal to 3.26. Here Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Current flow through the 30 ohm resistor is 0.44 amps. Current flow through the 20 ohm resistor is 0.54 amps. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.